What's going through your head when, when Dupree comes down with that? Did you even really see it? Uh, you know, is it just kind of pandemonium? Chaos? Well, he, he came down with it, and he scored a touchdown, and I was very excited. And then I immediately went to, all right, we are on, we're on defense again. What's What are we going to do? Let's get it ready. You know what I mean? But I was excited. After the game, I saw you had just a, a brief moment with Neil, just yes. kind of a hey. Yeah, yes. Congrats. Yes. You know, is there somewhat of, of a burden relief off the shoulders tonight? I, I know it's never, you know, it's not done, but is it is it something off the shoulder at all? Well, you know, last week, Neil and I talked, and he said, hey, great job. And I said, listen, I'm going to need you to bail me out sometime, somewhere. You know what I mean? And the offense played great tonight, and the defense finished strong. And uh, it, uh, it just was a great win. In the grand scheme of things, how important was Stamps' play in a potential situation where you guys could have been down an additional few points? Instead, you get to tie it up at the end. It's critical. You got to make plays when you got a chance to make them. You know, you, you, if you're in position to make the play, you have to make it. And he was, and he made it. The defense has these ups and downs, but you know, the downs, it's you know, the, those three that South Carolina scored straight in the second half, but then the ups, yeah. the Stamps making a play, Dupree coming up with the touchdown. Did it seem like tonight the ball also bounced a little bit more favorably when it was time for a big play? It, you know, we we did have some big breaks, but give the players credit. They, they made those plays. You know, they had to make the plays, and they made them to win the game. I mean, was it a thing where they buckled down more in the fourth quarter, or did something happen schematically? No, the thing about it is they never, they never fretted. We 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 had you know obviously our struggles on defense this game, but the players never started pointing fingers at each other. We tried to fix the problems and move on to the next series, and in the end of the game, the guys still had the mentality that we can win this thing, and I'm going to do what I can to win the game. So I was very proud of the players' efforts. Neil, what's it like for watching your team win a game? with the defensive touchdown at the end. That's good. Does that take any pressure? No, that, that, was, that, fun that was great. That was great. I thought really in the second half, you know, really in the fourth quarter, that may be the first time that we played good at the same time, you know, because we've been in this this year, we played really good offense at times, but really probably hadn't played a four-quarter game, played really good defense at times, but we hadn't played great at the same time. And I thought in the fourth quarter was really the first time we played great at the same time. Neil, when you decided to become an offensive coordinator, did you envision winning a shootout with Steve Spurrier by running the Wildcat? <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if I ever envisioned winning games with the Wildcat solely, but uh, you know, he, he's been a guy. I listen to his press conferences every Monday. I listen to his press conferences just because I enjoy it. I've got a lot of respect <laughs> for him, and uh, I think he does. I think he does his on Tuesdays actually, but I always listen to him because it lightens up. The, the tension on Tuesday. But I got a tremendous amount of respect for him. I thought he did a great job calling plays tonight. He kept us off balance. Um, but to win, you know, there it, it is kind of neat. You look across and there's a guy that you really look up to as a guy that threw the ball around a lot when I was growing up and to play with him and, and the amount of success he's had against Kentucky to, to flip the script, that was fun.